students, our wonderful, wonderful parents of this dramatic realization of a vision. Sometimes we have visions that are never realized. It is a vision which I have shared with some of you in the past, and a vision which I had a lot of difficulty convincing even my own staff to believe in. It's always difficult when you want to bring in a new idea. People resist change. And they said, why can't it be like a normal polytechnic? Why can't it be like other institutions? And why do you have to bring Highbury College from outside to run the institution? In some instances, they say, no, it must be a cross rebellion that must run the institution. In other instances, they say, no, it must be somebody from Yaka that must run the institution. And of course, I had to resist all of that because I understood what I wanted to achieve in this institution. And I knew that unless we made those sacrifices, we would never get to that point where we would now create a new way of looking at education. Education that is relevant for today, education that is tailored towards the needs of the market, education where you have a, an instrument of award that immediately creates an opportunity for you and gives you a future. So it was very difficult to explain why I am not having an, an insisting on normal programs like degrees in English, in sociology and the likes, which people carry but can't find jobs with. So for us, we would rather have an institution with best practice standards. And so for us, it was a decision which even though we had great difficulty getting everyone to understand, at the time, most in particular recognize again uh, His Royal Highness, the Obolopo of Bugab. And the reason I want to do that is that I had a discussion with him on his 80th birthday, I believe. And I made a promise to him that I would build this institution here in the Yaka local government area. I thank God that he is alive to see the realization of his vision. In working with the Highbury College, we wanted to identify the best, the best institutions in the world that have presented young people like you here today with opportunities and who have the experience and the knowledge and who have been acknowledged globally for putting out young men and women who become useful to themselves but much more useful to society. And that is what Highbury College provided for us. Highbury College being the number one 
technical and vocational education training institution in the United Kingdom. And it was imperative for us to partner with them because the vision was not one that we had a track record in Nigeria or Cross River State of actually realizing. So you needed to bring in those who understood it and who had practiced what we want and had done it very successfully to come in and manage this institution for the first five years. It cost us a little bit more, but you're more important than the money. So you, the students, are far, far more important than the money. We're investing not in buildings and in roads and in a beautiful environment, we're investing in you. And that is what is critical for us as a nation today. I think we need to pay more and more attention to our people, our youth, our teaming youth. Nigeria has not yet put on any regulations on birth control. So our population is growing exponentially. And of course, our economy continues to face challenges. Now, what do you do about that? That they become immediately employers or even employers of labor. We have challenges even conveying this concept to the NBT as the regulating body for institutions like this. That is the National Board for Technical Education. In trying to get the Board for Technical Education to share in our vision, I'm hoping that the MBTE will, as has been promised, understand this vision and, of course, within the shortest possible time, accredit this institution for us to award to you the best and the most competent and the most qualified degrees, which I believe this professional staff will be training you for over the next couple of years. I want to urge that we continue to invest in this institution. You, the pioneer students, are pioneers. You're the first. I remember when I was in secondary school, I went to a school called Federal Government College in Lugo. And I was also a pioneer student. And life was good as a pioneer student. And I hope your own life, pioneer students, will be good Amen. as pioneer students. <laughs> the beauty of being a pioneer student is that there's a tendency to look after you. You get the best. You're the first at all times. When the population grows to 500, 1,000 students, uh, you're not going to get the same attention that you're getting now. So enjoy it. Enjoy it and enjoy it. The signature building, which is coming up very shortly, is a project which for us represents what this institution would be about. A lot of people have looked at me and wondered, as you can see, you have two massive buildings on both sides of the main building, which are what they call the workshops and the warehouses, where you're going to be trained in skills that would make you handy immediately. And of course, the main building itself, which is state of the art. I'm hoping that the parents who are here and other visitors go around the existing classrooms and see the quality of training that is available in this institution. I dare say that you may not find this in some of our universities today, some of the big M universities you find in Nigeria. So for us, that signature building, it's imperative, it will be completed and equipped. I look forward to commissioning it before I leave office as governor. <laughs> Let me finally express my appreciation to the coordinating team that I've worked assiduously to make this possible. You put in so much, sometimes very difficult, but we've actually gotten to a point where I think we can all express some level of satisfaction. Let me also express my appreciation to the host community. Thank you 
for your support and appeal to you as from now. It will be here. It will be training the children. It will be providing opportunity for employment. It will change the educational landscape. And if we cooperate with this team that is here, I want to bet you that in the next five years, this institution and Nugem and the Accord of the Government will be on the education map of not just Nigeria, but the world. I want to also...